To write the Lewis structure for XeBr2, that's xenon dibromide, let's count up the valence electrons. Xenon group 18, sometimes called 8A, 8 valence electrons, and the bromine, that's in group 17. It has 7 valence electrons, but we have the two of those. So 8 plus 14, 22 total valence electrons for the XeBr2 Lewis structure. We'll put xenon in the center, it's the least electronegative element, and then bromine on either side. We'll place a pair of electrons between each of the elements to form a chemical bond, and then we'll go around and complete the octet on the bromines. Next, we'll complete the octet on the central atom. So this looks like a reasonable Lewis structure. We have an octet on each of the atoms here, but we're only using 20 valence electrons, and we have 22. So we need to find a place for those remaining two valence electrons. Xenon can have an expanded octet, so we could place those extra electrons here on the central xenon. And that would make this the Lewis structure for xenon dibromide. Each bromine has an octet, and then that xenon in the center, it has an expanded octet, more than eight valence electrons, but that's okay. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for XeBr2, xenon dibromide. Thanks for watching.